all right it feels like i haven't spoken in a very long time to you guys please excuse the fun i don't know what's on for today bubble but it is hot so i'm gonna do my brows and i'm using my anko pencil it's been a while since i've spoken to you guys not doing like a talk through tutorial so that's what I wanted to do today and I don't know if you can tell but my skin has broken up very badly I have a severe allergic reaction to the Philly Smoke of Magnesia and for the past couple of Halloween tutorials that I've been filming I've been using the Philly Smoke of Magnesia to, as a primer and it has my skin cleared up and then I started using it again because I figured you know it's just a little Halloween look and my skin just reacted really badly to it so my skin is currently like in a very horrible state right now all right so as usual i'm going to be using my um black opal toast concealer it looks like this but it should look like, it should look like a lipstick but my own is it that finish so I just dig down in there and i use it to do my brows and this can be found at fontana pharmacy the, I don't believe the, um, that I have the anchor pencil at Fontana. They have another brown pencil that I use from time to time. But I can't remember the name of that pencil. I think they have Air Woman. I'm not quite sure. Yes, yes, they do. They have Air Woman. And you guys know I use Air Woman sometimes. If it's not anchor, it's Air Woman. So you can use the Air Woman from, um, from Fontana or whatever brown pencil I have to um, complete this look. Not complete this look to get these brows. Alright, so I'm going to be using my black anchor pencil as well. And I'm going to go right on the ends where I don't have any brows. I'm just going to fill in right there. Because you can see my skin peeking through differently from my brows. Because you know my brow here stopped at a particular point. So I'm just filling in with the black pencil. So that there's, there's not that harsh line. Next I'm checking my shades by Galmeda Neutral Concealer. So this is not found at Fontana Pharmacy, but what you can use is NYX's Shadow Base. So as my primer, I'm going to be taking Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Nourishing Primer, not found at Fontana. Then for my um, foundation, I'll be taking my Time Wise Luminous Wear, I believe it's called Liquid Foundation by Mary Kay, and it's in the color Bronze 6. For my, to set everywhere on my, on my face, I'm going to be using my Black Opal Classic Expressor Powder. And I'm going to try again to highlight with my Sasha Buttercup. I tried highlighting with it, but it left it looking extremely ashy. So I'm going to see how I can work around that today. So, like all bubble. So for my highlight, I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I'm using Black Opal's Toast. And I'm just blending it out with my Sedona Lace 773 brush. Love this brush. Then, as I said, I'm going to be sitting with my Sasha Buttercup um, for the highlighted arrows and my classic, my classic Expresso by Black Oval um, for everywhere else on my face. So I'm going to take the foundation brush and just go over the areas, like at the ends, to kind of blend it out. I just hate how my skin looks. But lyrics say if you don't like it, then why putting makeup on it? Listen, I work my day. Work my day, I'm never getting a sick note. So I have to come in and do what I need for do. So don't pressure me. Do not pressure me. So I'm taking Classic Express right now. Just to set everywhere else. To set everywhere that I placed my um, Brand 6 by Mary Kay. Next, I'm going to use Sasha Buttercup and I'm going to try and work with it. So, I have about this much on the brush. Then, I'm just going to disperse it all over the brush. Yeah, so it's not much that's left. Oh, okay. Look, it's setting it nicely. Oh, so that's how you use it, guys. Because for me, it was leaving my skin so patchy. So I'm going to disperse it all over the brush, like all over. Nice. Yes, Sasha. I love it. So that about that much. Yeah, it's nice. 
Okay. Now I can put this in my kit because now I know what I'm doing. Before I was in my skin like so patchy. So I'm setting it broad on my nose rather than just this skinny line because I want to erase the harsh line at the side. So by setting it broad, it kind of blends up that side for me. I'm going back in with Classic Espresso because some bit of my face still kind of shiny. Alright. Alright, so now I'll be baking with Sasha as well. I know, I know I look like seven times are crazy, but at least it's seven. So, I'll be going in with my colorful palette now from A Fontana of Amacay. But first, I'm going to be laying down a base with my, um, what's this called again? My Shades by Gal Medium Neutral Concealer. So I'll be putting this on my lid. And you know, once you see this palette, I'm going for a colorful look. Something filled with color. Alright, so what I'm going to be going in with first is um, a matte pink. Then I'm going to be going in with ooh a lime a lime green this lime green up here oh snap oh it, I'm getting watermelon I'm getting a watermelon vibe then another lime green and a matte lime green on top of this then just pulling over the green on top of the pink to help those two blend. And I'm going in back with the first green. I think I like the first green better. All right, so I think I don't need to do a purple after this. So let me show you what's, what I used. So I went in with this green first here. Then I went, no, this pink first, sorry. This long pink here. Went in with this, then this green. Then I went in with this, then this green back on top. Then I want to do a purple. So I'm going to be going in with what color purple this purple right here snap oh I love this yeah so filled with color and life and vivacious names okay I colored I covered the pink cover the pink damn it went back in with the same pink I used before that I showed you that long pink all right, there we go. Brought it back. There we go. There. So what did I cover it in the first place? Went back in with the purple. Fusing the pink and the purple. Oh, yeah, honey. Let's do the other eye. Come back, boo-boo. All right, so my crease, I'm going to be going in with this green right here. It's a very nice, deep, sh like, deep, nice green. <laughs> All right, let me just use it, use it on the other side with the same brush, but I'm going to switch out the brush just to make it a little bit even. Um, so we use this brush, this dumb brush, same green. Then I'm going to go in with the lime green that I used earlier on in here. I'm going to go over it to brighten up that green a little bit. All right, I'm going to give that green a little bit of a break. And then I'm going to set my brow bone with this stark white color. I'm just dabbing like one time. I'm just patting it on. So dabbing one time, I'm gonna shake it a little bit, then pat it on. So 
so you can see that line of demarcation that that color created i think i want to put a purple up there purple and yellow i think i want to put a yellow up there so i'm going to go in with this yellow here and take it right along here Taking that yellow again, right, right between the green and my brow bone color. And taking that same yellow and putting it in here. Then I'm going to take the orange above that and put it in here as well. I'm going to stop doing windshield wiper motions and I'm just going to pack it on now using the same brush that I get so that I get a better color deposit. Then take what's on the brush and feather it here. Then go back in with the brush that I used to do my brow bone color and I'm going to just tapping twice on, with, on both sides of the brush. Then I'm going over my brow bone and I tap on both sides and I have to go back in the palette. So I'm just going to blend out now. Then going back in with the yellow that I showed you earlier on. That's underneath the orange. Put it right here. Then back in with the green. And let me show you. The orange that I use that's above the yellow is this orange right here. I use this yellow, then I'm, I use this orange here. Then I'm going to go back in with this green right here, this nice deep green here. Like it's like a deep shocking green, shocking green. It's really pretty. Then I'm going to go back in with it in my crease. And kind of feather it to kind of fuse all the colors together. Really love how this is coming out. Then I'm going to be lining my eyes with my black eyeliner pencil. But I'm going to be laying on my eyeliner pretty heavily. Um, I still think this green could go a little bit deeper. So I'm going to take a deeper color green. And put it yeah 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 man that's what i'm talking about yeah yeah see here yeah. then go with this brush and just kind of blend the two together now all i did was just look down on the palette to see what green i wanted to use and this was the winner winner chicken dinner this green right here that one over there Alright, so now I'm going to be moving on to my eyes, my lower lash line, and I think, do I want to do purple or blue? I want to do an array of blue under there, so I'm going in with a light blue. Then I'm going in with a deeper blue, that's right under the light blue. Do you guys know I'm going to show you in a second? I wish I had another camera like right here where I can just show you without having to take up the palette. That would have been, that would be amazing. Then I'm going to go in with a deeper blue. Alright, so the first blue I went in with was this one here. Then I went in with this blue that was right underneath it. Then I went in with this blue over here. But this blue and this blue, even though they're completely different in the on the palette, it's looking like the same color here. So I'm going to go in again with the second blue that's right underneath the icy blue. And kind of build it up a bit. And I'm going to mix it with this blue up here. There we go. 
so there is like a clear distinction so I mixed it with this blue right here so that there's a clear distinction all right so let's brush this away do my lashes do my right, let me just blend out here a little bit I hope I'm still in focus so I'm just going to blend out here because I'm still seeing like a line of the green and I don't want that so I'll be wearing my fashionista lashes from my line but before that I think I want to go in like with a gold so like with this yellowy color right here and I'm going to put it in my happy area because I'm extra so I'm going to dust this away move on to my lashes my glow and my lips everybody move your body all right guys so I'm going in with pink princess cosmetics half on baby now as you know pink princess cosmetics that Fontana pharmacy I almost it's all of you travel So this is half on baby I know it's running then I'm going to be taking um Iman's afterglow and you guys know I mix these two here for my glow it's very subtle this right here is is like bridal glow you know what I mean very subtle not too much and if if a client or if you're not into the whole highlighted to the gods to the moon look then you can do this do you see me getting my cheekbones when I turn my mouth sideways But I usually have to pack this on, pack this on, pack this on. But I don't mind, boo boo. I do not mind. Alright, so for my blush, I'm taking my Glam Palette. <clears throat> and I'm taking the pink. It's very pigmented, so be careful. And I'm deliberately packing on this blush because the look is very colorful almost animated like all right back in with my glue no let me use um, this one here from the glam palette I love to line my lips but I can't find my lip liner from um, my 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 uh, LA Colors lip liner from Fontana I can't find them so I'm just going to go over my look at me scratching my tummy so I'm going to go over my lips with the same brush I used to do my powder so by kind of like separating my lips a little bit so that some of my lips come out and put powder on it it kind of acts as a lip liner somewhat see it blends it in it's more a little bit of half on baby center and this is the completed look hope you guys enjoyed this talk through tutorial it's very colorful this is like carnival cruise ship let's do this boo boo let's go hoard or nothing at all thank you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe and also um check out fontanapharmacy.com their drugstore yes but boo boo they have some stuff that makes you wonder if they're truly drugstore because their inventory makeup wise is pretty 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 wide so i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye so we gone And in the link, and in the check, we'll be gone all in Till the blood is all on it Ain't no need to worry, run away God will protect me I didn't no pass, and in the link, and in the check, we Lead like a fast car, fast car, man Speed like an all-star, get fire, man Real Africa
Me stop in one car, them 